everybody, this is Kim. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I have decided to move the tech videos to Thursday. Um, so this is Thursday's tech video for this week. It's about BitLocker. Um, I received so many questions about BitLocker and um, I just wanted to kind of answer some of the most common ones. Kind of a not a super easy to understand concept so hopefully these answers to these questions will help you um, so I've titled it BitLocker Common Questions answers to some common questions about BitLocker pretty straightforward right first of all what is BitLocker if you don't know what it is in very simple terms it's an encryption feature that is included in newer versions of Windows I believe Windows Vista and above um, hopefully you're not still running that version. Hopefully you're at least at Windows 10. Um, anyways, yeah, it's not in all of the older versions. It protects your data from unauthorized access by encrypting the data on your hard drive. So if you don't know what encryption is, I'm not going to really go into all that in this video. I do have another video about that that I'll put in the description so you can watch that if you'd like to. How does BitLocker work? Okay, well this is a video all in itself. I'm gonna link a video right here that will uh, show you more about it, but um, briefly, BitLocker uses a security module on your computer, it's called a TPM, to keep unauthorized users from accessing your data. Uh, BitLocker creates a recovery key for your drive and you create a pin and password for BitLocker. And after BitLocker is enabled, every time you start your computer, you must enter a PIN number to gain access. Uh, without that PIN or password, um, your computer will not boot. So it's a way of protecting your data from someone who does not have that BitLocker PIN or password. The recovery key is something that you should keep somewhere other than on the computer itself. So when you set up your encryption the first time, it is going to create a recovery key for you. You can save it on a flash drive, print it out, email it to yourself, save it to your Microsoft account, etc. But I would not save it somewhere on the computer itself because that's going to be encrypted, right? So um, if you get if you forget your PIN or password, you're going to need this key. This is very, very important that you save it somewhere and that you know where you saved it and that it's kept somewhere where you can access it when needed. Okay, this is super, super important, this recovery key. And don't make your PIN or password something that someone's going to guess. Think of something a little bit more uh, complex, let's just say, not something that you use other places because this is what is protecting your data on your computer. So think about that. This is not just, um, you know, a simple password. This is something that's very, very important. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So speaking of that, where is the BitLocker key stored? Well, the BitLocker key is stored on the encrypted drive. This is not the recovery key, this is the BitLocker key. Um, and hopefully you know where your recovery key is stored, like I just talked about. Most people put on a flash drive, email it to themselves, etc. It could be saved to your Microsoft account. So this is the recovery key, and then there's another key that BitLocker uses. So there's two keys. The next question, will BitLocker erase my data? BitLocker can be used to securely erase your drive, but erasing the data is not the purpose of BitLocker. It encrypts and secures your data so that only authorized users, you, can access it. Now, there have been people who say the initial encryption process has caused a ca catastrophic failure and their data was lost. I don't know I don't know that this has actually happened to anyone. I've never experienced it. No one I know has had this issue, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. It is strongly suggested that you back up your computer prior to enabling BitLocker and starting the encryption process, because once it starts the encryption, 
you pretty much have to sit there and just wait. Okay, so back up your data prior. Back up your entire computer. You know what I mean? Not just a couple files here and there. Back up your computer. To answer this question, does BitLocker erase my data? BitLocker does not, by design, delete any of your data, as you tell it to. Like I said, there is a way to securely erase your drive using BitLocker, but um, that's not its purpose, really. Oh, before I forget, please subscribe to my videos. That'd be awesome. I love getting new subscribers. I'm almost to 500, so that would really make me happy. And if you found this interesting, also give this video a like. That would be great. Okay. Can BitLocker stop ransomware? No. BitLocker will not stop ransomware. If you click on a malicious link and your system has BitLocker enabled, or any other disk encryption service actually, the malicious program has the same access to the drive that you do. Because once you've logged in, the encryption has been unlocked basically, and it's you know, you have full access to all your data while you're using your computer, so if you click on something, it's also going to have access to all your data. In fact, one of the most common ransomware attacks involves encryption. It's deployed to encrypt your already encrypted files. The hackers demand money from you in order for them to give you an encryption key so that you can unlock your files. It's very common, and that's what the uh, ransomware that's kind of how it works. So, BitLocker will not protect you from ransomware. Can you use BitLocker on a Mac? Well, no. There are other programs for Mac. BitLocker is part of the Windows operating system. So, yeah. And Mac does not support BitLocker in any way. It's only available on Windows. Now, if you run Windows on your Mac, then it'll work. I guess. You know, I never really thought about this actually. Um, possibly? <laughs> I don't know the answer to that, I'm sorry. Um, I will look it up, find the answer, put it down in the description below. So if you're running Windows on a Mac, I would assume it would work, but maybe not. So I'll, I'll let you know. Look down in the description for that. Um, and in this video, I'm not going to go into details about this, but if you have bit a BitLocker encrypted drive that you took out of a PC and you want to access those files on your Mac. There are lots of instructions online on how to do that. I'm not going into that, but it is possible and there if you Google that, there are a lot of people that have figured out how to see a Windows encrypted drive on a Mac. It's not using BitLocker on a Mac, it's just um, accessing the data. Okay, I mentioned it before, BitLocker uses TPM. And what is TPM? I have a video about this that I'll post in the description also, and I might link it above. I don't know if I, how many videos I can link to this one video here. But if I can, I'll link it here. Otherwise, I'm going to put it in the description below about TPM. It's more a detail. But basically, TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module. It's a secure crypto processor chip that is designed to improve the security of your computer. TPM is required for encryption. Like I said, if you want to know more about TPM, watch the other video. But basically, it's required if you want to use encryption. Can BitLocker be bypassed? Yes, definitely. If you know your password and your PIN. Um, to do that, you open up Windows Explorer right click on the BitLocker encrypted drive. If it's your hard drive, right click on your hard drive and then choose unlock drive. You will see a pop-up which will, ask, which will um, ask for your password and your PIN. Um, now, I say password and PIN because I know that um, some computers... Okay, how do I say this? It's either a password or a PIN. Some people have set up pins, some people have put up passwords. Let's just leave it at that. Um, anyways, after you put in your pin or password, your drive will now be unlocked. So that's pretty simple. That's how you bypass BitLocker. 
um, how to disable BitLocker. Can you disable BitLocker? Yes, it's very easy. Open up Control Panel, and then you're going to just search for BitLocker. There's a little search box that somehow I chopped off, but it's over here on this right side. And just type in BitLocker, and then this will come up, and you click on that. Um, and then once this comes up, there's a little slider bar. You just uh, turn off BitLocker and wait for the drive to unencrypt. Note that this could take some time. Do not disrupt this process. Do not restart your computer. You really just need to walk away, go do something else, come back, wait for it to complete the unencryption. Um, you don't want to do anything else while it's unencrypting. Just like I said, just walk away and come back later. It will take some time depending on how much stuff you have on your computer. So keep in mind that will take some time, but um, yeah. Okay. So thank you for watching. I hope this cleared some things up for you. Um, I know that BitLocker is a confusing concept and I have a couple other videos, like I said, that I'm going to put down in the description below, or maybe I'll link them on the video. I'm not sure how many I can link to be honest, but, um, yeah. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below and I'll try to respond within a day or two. Like I said, this is a complex thing, but a lot of people use BitLocker. A lot of people want to use BitLocker. A lot of people just have some questions about BitLocker and I hope that I've answered some of your questions. Anyways, like I said below, please don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like if you found it interesting, learned something. Um, and if I have said anything incorrect, let me know about that too. You know, I, I like learning new things. So anyways, correct me if I'm wrong about something. That would be fantastic. Have a great day. Stay safe. And see you next time. Once again, I'm moving the technology videos to Thursdays. Thanks.